Hello everyone, I am here today to discuss The Fever by Megan Abbott. It is kind of a psychological thriller. I usually don't read these types of books. Actually, I think this is the first time that I've read a psychological thriller and it kind of opened up the door to me to read all these other types of books. I might start reading Stephen King now because it sounds really interesting. Maybe not his scarier stuff, but more of the psychological stuff like Under the Dome and stuff like that. I get scared kind of easily, so probably some of his more scary books are not a good idea, but I might give it a try. I don't know. I don't know. I so many possibilities. I picked up this book at BEA and I had read a little bit about it on Goodreads before I went to BEA and it sounded really interesting so I knew it was a book that I really wanted to get. This book revolves around the Nash family. So there's the father and the son Eli and the daughter Deanie. I, at least that's how I pronounced her name. So they are in this fictional town and then when one of Deanie's friends has like this seizure but it's it's creepier than a seizure. It's like she was hallucinating and there was a seizure and like things like her neck flew back and she was clutching her neck and so it really kind of had a paranormal feel, at least for me. I was like, mm, exorcism. So after this seizure weird attack happens to Deanie's friend Lise, all the other girls and kind of Deanie's friends um, start exhibiting the same symptoms and it's only affecting the girls. So this town is going crazy. Like, why is it only affecting the girls? Is it the recent HPV vaccination? Is it basically fracking that happens around the school, you know, what is causing all of this and why is it only affecting girls. Overall, I would probably give this book a 3.75, I know, really random, but it wasn't quite a 4 for me, but it wasn't a 3.5, so 3.75 is right, right in that middle area. I really enjoyed the book once it got going, but because you're dealing with the point of view of the three different characters as well as things have to happen in order for chaos to begin, and then there's the setup of the town and everything, so it took a while at least for me to really kind of get into the book because there was a lot of kind of background information and a lot of building up to the whole chaos before it's everything just comes down and things start clicking into place. I felt like this book was like a roller coaster and it's one of those that has the really 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 steep incline for that first drop and then so it's building 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 and anticipation's growing and then as soon as you start peeking over the edge it's just a downhill like you cannot stop reading. I had no idea the entire time of what was actually the cause, what exactly is happening, and just as I soon as I started to think about something, something else came up, and then I started second guessing myself. So I had no idea throughout the whole thing about an inkling of what was going to happen. The book just came out on June 12th, so you should go pick it up if you are interested. And look at this cover! Like, isn't it really cool and creepy? So that is it for today. That's all I'm going to talk about because I feel that if I discuss it anymore, that you guys won't be able to feel the roller coaster and took the ride that I took while reading this book. I like it, especially if you are not sure about paranormal thrillers, I think this is a good segue into a bigger genre that I have never explored before and I'm kind of really excited to explore now. If you're used to psychological thrillers, just because I only gave it a 3.75, I'm not sure how this measures up to other people's standards. If you like my videos, please do not forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Goodreads, Tumblr, and Twitter. And until next time, bye! Again, it has a paranormal theme. I like paranormal stuff, okay? Like, scares the freaking bejesus out of me, but it's just scared that I like, as weird as that is.